Hi there, my name is Mr. Boatfield. I'm also an art teacher in Plano. The reason you're seeing this video is because your teacher is out for the day, but we still have a fun, exciting lesson plan that I'm going to show you now. It's always really important that we show our respect to our substitute teacher because they're our guests and they so kindly came in to help us with this fun project. Your teacher might have left some materials for you to use on this project. I'm gonna be using markers and crayons. However, if your teacher left colored pencils or paint or something behind that he or she wants you to use, that's okay. I'm gonna show you the project, but remember any materials that your teacher left behind are what you're gonna be using today. So you should receive one piece of copy paper and then also a piece of scrap paper. What the goal is, is you're gonna take some scissors nearby and cut some shapes out of this one piece of scrap paper. It can be circles, so notice that I'm moving the paper as I cut to make those round shapes, but it doesn't have to be. It could be a rectangle, a square, any sort of shape. You can even make it up. It's up to you what kind of shapes you wanna make, but you're gonna cut them out of the piece of paper. You're gonna have some leftover pieces. We'll throw those away but you need to arrange the pieces in a way you might like to glue them down. And we'll talk about that in a moment. All trash needs to go in the trash. Okay, so now here's your job. You're gonna take a glue stick, or maybe it's the Elmer's glue, whatever your teacher has provided. The next thing you're gonna do is you're going to glue down your shapes. Think about an interesting way that you could glue them down. I might have a little rectangle over here, so I'll put some glue down, give it some pressure, a nice massage, if you will. Then maybe I'll put this over here. I'm kind of filling up the space. And then I'm also going to take this circle and put it right up here. Now your job is to look at this and make it into something else. So you're going to transform this. So I'll give you an example. Maybe this could be a sun, maybe this could be a house, and maybe this is a car. And that'll make a full picture with a great composition. Composition means that we really used up the whole piece of paper. So now I'm gonna use markers and maybe some crayons to give it some color. Now it's up to you to be the creative people that I know you are, but I think I'm gonna do a little bus over here. Yours does not have to be like mine. I want yours to be different. I might do a house that's off in the distance over here. And I'm using my marker to draw. I'm gonna be using my crayons to color. I think it's gonna be a hot day, so I'm gonna put some sunglasses on my sun over here. Maybe a little happy face, I don't know. It's kind of up to you. Now I'm gonna use markers and crayons to add some detail. I wanna know exactly what you were thinking of. So here I go in fast motion, going ahead and filling up my space with different lines. I even added some line types that I've talked about with my classes. So here's what I have, but think to yourself, what am I missing? What do I need to make this look complete? I hope you're thinking of color. I need to add some color. Before I add color with my crayons, I want you to turn and talk to a neighbor. The substitute teacher will pause the video to give you about a minute to talk, but here's what I want you to talk about. Find a neighbor, and I want you to think about what kind of shapes you see in daily life. So for instance, I see a sun. That's an easy one, that's a circle. But maybe yours doesn't have to be a circle. I have a house, I have a bus, but come on, I'm sure that you can be a little bit more creative than me. What are some shapes that you see in your daily life that you could use for your drawing today? All right, hopefully the substitute teacher paused the video so that you could have a turn and talk. Now I'm going to add some color. So here I go in fast mode again, giving it some color. Now our world is full of color. I hope that you are adding color all over your picture. Now your color doesn't have to be the actual color that it is. I mean, look at my son, it's blue. So maybe you can come up with some crazy colors if you want to, that's your choice. So here's mine, remember yours can be unique. I'm gonna give you some tips before I go. Before you leave, you should put your name on it so that this doesn't get lost and that your teacher can see it and recognize you for all of your hard work. Also, please make sure that you, if you use marker, put the lid on top. We don't like it when we see dried out markers. It makes us very sad. If you could please put away all materials, be kind to your sub. And before you leave the room today, please say thank you to your substitute teacher because they took time out of their day to help you create this project. I hope that you guys have an amazing day and I hope you enjoy this project as much as I enjoyed making it with you.